Praise God, fellow believers. I believe you're all doing wonderful. I am blessed and highly favored. Amen. What a joyful day it has been. And what a joyful day I believe it's going to be. But listen to me. I want to talk to you about the blood of Jesus. I want to proclaim greatness upon your life. I want to pray with you in the blood. And by the blood. Because once you wear the armor of God and the head of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, as Ephesians chapter 6 says, brethren, you are in war. And to get into the war field or the battlefield, you need to equip yourself with the right weapons to apply. Because when the enemy attacks you, he does not attack you in a physical way. When the enemy attacks you, he does not attack you in a cool way and in a calm way he comes with force the bible says his third mission on earth is to kill still and to destroy according to john chapter 10 verse 10 and so you can agree with me that the devil whom we are fighting against is not physical amen he is a spirit but then he uses people to destroy and when you avail yourself he will come in you and to destroy you because he comes to realize that you have availed yourself and you are available that is why the bible said in first peter 5 8 that the devil is seeking who he may devour amen but then once you are equipped once you are loaded the enemy will pass you by amen that is why it's very important that we always put ourselves in the blood of jesus we always soak ourselves in the blood of jesus let me give you this scripture here if you read Exodus chapter 12 verse 7, the Bible says, Then they are to take some of the blood and put it on the side and tops of the door frames of the houses where they eat the lambs. My brothers and sisters, the Bible is saying over here that God told the people of Israel to apply the blood upon their door post that when the angel of death comes and sees the blood, he will jump over. Brothers and sisters, if you apply the blood of Jesus on your doorpost, the devil comes and sees the blood, you will have to flee. Amen. Listen to this. If the Bible says if you resist the enemy, he will flee. There are ways of resisting the devil. That is why it is very important that you apply the blood of Jesus on your doorpost, on your car, on your children, upon your family, upon your wife, your husband, or for your children's education. Listen, leave the blood of Jesus upon anything in your house and it will work because the devil is scared of the blood. Amen. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 that we overcame the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Now hear me. We overcame the enemy. So he has already overcome the enemy for us. But we only have to activate the word of God to fight on our behalf. That is why the Bible says, Be still and know that I am God. Now if the word of God is fighting on our behalf, and you don't apply the word of God, it will not work in your life. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 4 and 5, Though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For our weapons are not of this world. Our weapons are not come out. They are not physical, but they are mighty through God in pulling down of strongholds. There are strongholds the enemy has placed in our marriages. There are strongholds the enemy has placed in our job places. There are strongholds the enemy has placed in our children's health. And those strongholds are spirits. And those spirits have to be attacked with the weapon of God which is not carnal which is what spiritual and as you apply the word of god which is spirit the enemy will have to what bow down to it because the the, the bible said the, the devil is not powerful but we make it seem too much that the devil is powerful no i'll give you a scripture to prove that the bible says that the devil is under our feet Romans 16 20, that's what the Bible says. That the devil is under our feet. And now listen, if God says he has given you and I the power and the ability and the authority and the jurisdiction to overcome the enemy, 
that we have the power to travel over what scorpions and snakes and animals and the bible says they will not harm us because greater is he that is in you than the one that is in the world listen don't give up for the devil at all this year we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy gone are the days when we were ignorant but not this time around I give God praise and the help of the Holy Spirit, you can war against the enemy. You can wage war against the enemy. Brethren, you have to be radical this end time. Amen. You have to fight the devil when he comes to you like a flat. The Bible says the Holy Spirit will rise up a standard against the enemy. But then if you are not loaded with the word of God, you will be defeated. The fact that you are in Christ Jesus does not end it all. The Bible says in this world you will have trouble. Listen, and when troubles are coming, how are you going to fight the trouble? Are you going to fight it physically by buying a tool from home people? No, it will not work. It will not work. That is why we always have to pray. Praying without season is very important. That you will load your prayers ahead. And as you journey along, the prayers that you have prayed ahead will be fighting on your behalf. That is why the Bible says many a time we do not even know. We do not even know how to pray. But then the Holy Spirit helps us to pray. And show us the things, the secret things and the deep things that we do not know. The Bible says, call upon me and I will answer. And I will show you great and mighty things. Listen, there are things that you and I don't know. But the Bible says, as we pray, He will show us those things. And we don't want to pray amiss. We want to pray with the right tools. Amen. We want to pray with the right tools. So I want you to wake your spirit up. This end time, the enemy is aggressive. He has realized that he is losing, which he will lose all the time. But he does not want to lose. And he's not on your paycheck. But he's still working very hard. Can you imagine that? He's not on a payroll, but he's working so hard to devour us. But God will give you the insight. I say God will give you the ability. God will give you the spiritual insight and revelation for you to overcome the powers of darkness. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness in high places. Let me tell you one thing. The enemy has really organized his kingdom. The kingdom of darkness is really organized. He is not playing at all. He has really organized himself and he has the right tools that he used to attack you. Trust me, he will attack you. Don't play or reason with the devil at all. If there is any thoughts that are running through your mind, if thoughts are running through your mind which you know is not of God, any thought contrary to the will and the ways of God, it is the work of the enemy. It is the work of the evil one. And he will what, attack your mind with the case of the world so you will be what defeated or you fall short to his ways the bible said yeah there's a way that seems right unto man that way that seemed right is the works of the enemy but i give god all the glory that this time around your spiritual eyes has been enlightened your spiritual heart has been enlightened that the spirit that resides inside of you has received revelation an ability for you to overcome the plans and purpose of the enemy that he has designed for you that you will not be ignorant this time around that this year i decree upon your life that you will overcome the works of the enemy that this year you will overcome the plans of the enemy that whatever you were laying down to for the enemy what to pass over you this time i decree that you will what rise up and war against the enemy Amen. I'm going to do another video and I'm going to pray with you. So as you watch this video, please watch the other video and you will be blessed. I'm going to pray with the blood of Jesus because the blood of Jesus is God's power that he has bestowed upon us. That as we apply the blood, watch out for the result is at your doorstep. Watch out for the re result is at your doorstep. And so we can say to the enemy without any apology that the blood of Jesus is against you, Satan. You and your devices and your plans, the blood of Jesus is against you. Any conspiracy of, of, of the networks that you have arranged before us, the blood of Jesus is against you. I'll pray with you in the next video. God bless you. Shalom.
Peace.